In this video, we'll talk about 12 great things about the Quest 3, plus one nice little bonus right at the end. So let's get straight to it with number one, the resolution. That is 2064 by 2208 per eye. The Quest 2 had a resolution of 1832 by 1920 per eye. Quest 1, lagging way behind with 1440 by 1600. The Quest 3 also has more usable resolution compared to the Quest 2 due to the two panels so your eyes can actually see more of each panel or the screen. The Quest 2 had a single LCD panel which meant there were parts of it you couldn't even see and if you were at the widest IPD setting you could even see the edges of the screen. Number two, pancake lenses. The new lenses fold light so they can be much closer to the screen which allows the Quest 3 to be much thinner than the Quest 1 or 2. Not only that but unlike the old Fresnel lenses they have a huge sweet spot meaning the area of the lens that is clear to look through is much bigger than before which makes the Quest 3 much easier to adjust so it's both comfortable and clear for the eyes to see. In at number 3 is the field of view which is 110 degrees horizontal 96 degrees vertical. The Quest 2 field of view was way smaller. The Quest 3 is more immersive because you can see more of the VR world at any one time. Number four, the IPD roller, which sets how far apart the lenses are to match how far apart your eyes are. It goes from 58 millimeters to 71 millimeters, another advantage of having two LCD panels rather than one. The screens can actually move to be level with your eyes. Thankfully, the Quest 3 can give crystal clear VR for those people who were not one millimeter out of the Quest 2's three settings of 58, 63, and 68. Ironically, the new pancake lenses with their greater sweet spot also means that getting the IPD dead on is actually less important now, but hey, we can get it perfect anyway. Five, no need for glasses spacers. How annoying were they? What we have now is a relief adjustment, and although it's a bit fiddly to adjust, I'd much rather do that than constantly taking out and putting in glasses spacers. And six, speaking of glasses, actually, I can wear my glasses on the closest setting, so I can get the full field of view and see. Because of course, the further away you move the screens, the less field of view you get. The other nice thing about the Quest 3 lenses is that they seem to have a bit of a lip around them that helps prevent the glass on glass action and gives me the confidence that my nasty glasses aren't going to scratch the lovely pancake lenses. Seven, sound. The sound still comes through the arms of the headset just like before, but now it sounds much better than the previous generation. Number eight. The Snapdragon XR2 second gen chipset is great, twice the graphics processing power of the Quest 2. Experiences are going to look so much more detailed and not so much like a game from the early 2000s. We've moved into 2010 graphics, baby. Nine, weight distribution. Despite being a little heavier than the Quest 2, the thinner Quest 3 means less weight is far from the front of your face, so it doesn't seem to pull forward as much as it used to. It also means that even though the strap is bad, just like before, it's less noticeable. Number 10, the controllers, they give better feedback and they're smaller. There's no longer any halo sensor rings to accidentally bash together. Batteries seem good, but whether they last as long as those in the Quest 2 only time will tell, but mine are still going. I'm pretty sure I was on the same set of batteries when I got sent my first rechargeable set around Christmas time for the Quest 2. They also still only need one battery, which is great news. You hear that Pico 4 with your two battery controllers? I do like the Pico 4 though. 11, 3D pass-through. Now that pass-through uses two cameras, you can actually do things like type, which is awesome. Maybe that piano app will actually be good too. 12, hand tracking. I still prefer using controllers, but hand tracking is so much better now, and the cameras can even tell if you're interlocking your fingers. That's some mad juju. And 13, a bonus great thing about the Quest 3, they're acknowledging their roots. I love that the Oculus logo is on the charge port. And that was 12 plus one great things about the Quest 3. If you enjoyed that, then you should definitely watch the companion video, 10 annoying things about the Quest 3. You can do that by clicking here, or you can watch this video because YouTube thinks you'll like it. Thanks for watching, and until next time, play safe.